Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here. Uh, if you've been watching my channel recently, I've acquired some new watches and uh, with that, I want to try a strap. So this is a white strap from Watch Dives. It's a cut to fit strap. We're gonna go through the process together. Here is the buckle for it. Here are the pins to help attach the buckle to it. Let's go ahead and take this out of the packaging. I'm going to put this white strap on my San Martin. All right. I did get this off of AliExpress. However, uh, hindsight, I would not order from there. I would order directly through watch dives. So if you guys are watching this and you want um, these straps that come in a bunch of different colors, order it directly through watch dives. All right, so you see these are, uh, it says right there, XQ20. I don't know what the XQ means, but 20 is 20 millimeters. This is a 20 millimeter strap here. Tapers down to 16. That's what this is. This came as a kit. And we're going to get it on this and just, uh, you know, see how it goes. This is, in case you're wondering, the SN0121T. T is for titanium. This is a titanium watch. Um, the downside is I'm going to lose the on-the-fly adjustment of this clasp from San Martin. I really love this clasp. There might be a way to make it work with this, but I really don't know. Um, I really think it's made to work with this bracelet. So anyway, we're going to use this. This is fine. It still has micro adjusts. Um, like I said, I just use, I just lose that on the fly adjustment. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this bracelet off. This does not have quick release. So if, with that, you're going to need a tool. Okay. Um, so stay with me, uh, just a second. Let me get that bracelet off and we'll go from there. All right, so I got the bracelet off. It took a little bit um, just because it's not quick release. You got to get your spring bar tool um, really down down in there. But I just wanted to show you guys this. So the, uh, the spring bars themselves, they just fall out. And when it falls out, the end link separates from the bracelet. But what I thought was cool... See if I can get this to focus. There you go. You guys see that right there? On the inside, it actually says SN0121T. So, and the other one says the same thing. I thought that was pretty cool. And that goes like so. And then you put the spring bar through there. So I'm gonna set this off to the side because obviously I do not want to lose any of this. All right, set that there. I'll put that um, together, uh, you know, in a, in a bag. In fact, I'll probably reuse this bag for that. So I keep all of that together. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this fitted on here. Um, just a note for you guys uh, on a clasp, this part, okay, the actual clasp part goes on the 12 o'clock side. Okay, so when you're putting, you know, all of these parts together, or if I pull this over here, right, if I'm putting this whole bracelet back on here, the clasp side goes on the 12 o'clock side. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick, just so you can see it, is I'm going to put this quick release. I'm going to try to do this on camera best I can. If I can't, I'll do it off camera and pop it back up for you guys. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm going to have to go off camera for a second. Try to find the hole. Come on. There it goes. All right. So that's what we're looking at. Just wanted to give you a little preview, little teaser of the strap. This strap is very, very soft. 
think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. All right, let's take it off. Comes off very easy, as you guys see. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to cut these little links off little by little because you cannot add them back on. So you need to understand, do not just throw this on, wrap it around your wrist and go, oh yeah, I can cut off, you know, seven links or whatever, and it's going to be too short. I'm telling you, it's going to be too short. So make sure that you cut little by little off. Now, I have already done this with a strap. In fact, I've already done it with this strap, and I almost cut too much off. I am literally on the very last hole of both of these sides, but with the white one, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so got these cut off. So these links that I cut off, these are trash now. We have no use for them. We cannot use them. If you cut too much off, these are useless. So keep that in mind. Um, normally what I would do, in fact, what I did the first time when I did my black ones is I cut off a few links and made it long on purpose and then I cut off a, one link at a time to get to my final, my final uh, measurement. Like I said, I have three here and four here. What I did with this is I have four here and I have five here. So I did this long on purpose. That way I can leave a little extra length um, and hopefully that'll work. If I have to, I'll trim another one off, but hopefully I can leave a little extra that way I have room to play with um, if I ever need to lengthen the bracelet for any reason. All right, guys, so I got this side on. You can see the cut is not exactly straight or perfect, but all we need it to do is close. As long as it closes, it's fine, okay? If it didn't close, if it got hung up, then all you would need to do is go back in and shave a little bit of this off, a little bit of that lip off, and then it'll close. But this one works. All right, and here's the other one. Now, right now, you see I have it on the second micro adjust hole. However, if you go to flip this up, you'll see that it's through the second link, not the longest link here, okay? So this link here, there's actually no pin through. I did that on purpose to have extra length, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the watch Pinched a little bit on her. There it goes. All right, so we're gonna get this on the watch and see how it fits on my wrist, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's take a look at it. What do you guys think? You think it looks good? Definitely a summertime vibe going on. Let me know your thoughts. Bracelet or strap? I've always been a bracelet guy, never really been a strap guy, but I wanna try it, see what happens. All right, let's put it on, see how it looks, see how it fits. All right, that fits pretty good. 
Might have got it right on the first try there, guys. Yep, gives me a little bit of extra. There you can see, just a little bit. If I, if I push down into my skin, I got a little bit of extra there, so allows for some swelling throughout the day and still gives me that little bit of play. All right. Very cool. All right, well, that's it. I actually got it right on the first try. Now, like I said, I recommend doing a little bit longer because this black strap, okay, I actually had it on one of my other watches. I had to take it off because I needed this clasp. And as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, I had three holes. On this, I have four. Over here, I have five holes on the white. And on this one, I only had four. So give yourself a little bit of extra room. I wish I would have given myself extra room on this. I can still use this. It's still functional. Still works. However, this would have been a lot better. All right. That's it. That is the Watch Dives Cut to Length. FKM rubber strap. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit for you guys. Hopefully you got some good information out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Smash that like button. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, you guys stay safe. God bless America.